Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Input Quantize in Pro Tools. Input Quantize records all your MIDI notes in perfect timing. I'll also show you how to add swing to your MIDI notes so it doesn't sound too robotic and get back that human feel that quantizing can sometimes take away. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we have our session and let's use Input Quantize to record a simple drum loop. We'll be using Battery 4 by Native Instruments, and these are the sounds we'll be using. Now, to enable Input Quantize, we're going to go to the top where it says Event, go to Event Operations, and go down to Input Quantize. Now, right here below where it says What to Quantize, we're going to check in Enable Input Quantize, No On, Preserve No Duration, and right here where it says Quantize Grid, this is where you're going to select how you want the Quantize Grid to be divided, and this will depend on the pattern you'll be using. So if you're using an 8th note pattern, a 16th note pattern, then you're gonna click here and match it accordingly. Otherwise, it's not gonna sound correct. From here, you can also add a dotted, a triplet, and a groove style. We'll cover the groove styles in just a couple more minutes. You can add a tuplet, randomize it, and you can also add a swing here, but we'll add a swing after the recording. So let's record something real quick. I'm going to delete this part because that's my microphone. And let's take a listen to it. Everything should be in perfect timing because we have input quantize enabled. So let's take a listen. Okay. So now let's add a little bit of swing to it. So right here where it says IO, we're going to right click here and we're going to go down to real time properties. We're going to check this in. And we're going to select QUA, this is Quantize Enable. And from here, we can add the swing percentage. So it's an eighth note. And we're going to add the swing percentage from here. So let's take a listen to it as we change it. You can see that as you add swing, it adds a little bit more of a bounce. And you can actually see the notes shifting just a little bit over and off timing. So let's go with... 69, 68, whatever. Okay, let's move on to an MPC style groove. So at the beginning of the video, I went to event, event operations, input quantize, and that's because I wanted to show you where you could find input quantize in the menu. But now that you know about real-time properties, I'm gonna show you the shortcut, and it's actually right here in the quantize button. So I'm gonna click here, we're going to go to the drop down arrow and we're going to go to MPC style grooves, 56% at 16th swing. So let's record enable and let's try it out. All right, so I messed up on the last one, but let's play it back and see what input quantize did. I'm going to delete this because that's my microphone. And let's listen. Okay, not bad, right? So if we take off the quantize, that's what I really played, which is actually pretty bad. I'm gonna turn on quantize. All right, and that's how you use input quantize and add a swing to your input quantize so that it doesn't sound too robotic. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment. It helps us reach others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.